Ade TV KPM Let's take a walk around the farm around the farm around the farm Let's take a walk around the farm what do you see I see a cow big and strong big and strong big and strong I see a cow big and strong eating happily I What else I can see All right now I see a goat and a sheep, goat and sheep, goat and sheep. I see a goat and a sheep playing together. I see a chicken and a duck, chicken and duck, chicken and duck. I see a chicken and a duck looking for food together. Assalamualaikum, welcome to Didi TV KPM. You're with me, Shafika Farahin Razali, for the whole one hour of today. And today we'll be learning kids about farm animals for preschoolers. But before we start anything, please remember to practice your SOP. Wash your hands frequently. If you don't have a sink nearby, just wear hand sanitizers and also wear your mask when you're outside of your homes. Right, just now you have seen the profile teacher for today. We would like to welcome teacher Rama to the studio. Hi, teacher. Nice. How are you? Assalamualaikum. Wa nice to meet you, teacher. Thank you, Fika. For your info, our teacher today is the Guru Chumalang from Sekolah Kebangsaan Minden Hyde Plapina. Yes. Uh, that's a long way from here, yeah, Cikgu? Yes, Fika. All right, teacher. What are we learning today? I know it's about farm animals. As you can see on the table, there's a lot of animals. Yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah. But before that, let's first practice our SOP. Okay. Okay, let's okay. wear your hand sanitizer. I would like to invite you to just wear the hand sanitizer All right. here. All right. Oh, sorry. Okay, for today, since we're going to learn about initial sounds, initial sounds, that means we need clarity from the mouth. I'd like to invite Teacher Rama to take off your mask and then perhaps put it in your pocket right. for the purpose of clear pronunciation. All right, kids. Ah, uh, there you go. As you can see, just now we found these animals, Teacher. And then today, perhaps you would like to tell us what we are going to do. Okay, thank you, uh, Shafika. Yeah. All right. Um, to start. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, now you have found some of the animals. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come. Let I me found see. A chicken. All right. All right. Good. And then this one. Perhaps this we'd like to ask the kids at home. What are this animal? First of all, with this, right, teacher? Yeah. Okay. What is this animal? Uh, All right, teacher. What do you think is the name of the animal? I think it's a because it has a beak yeah. and also something up there. Uh -huh. It's called a chicken. Mm, you are right. I'm right. Yes. Okay. Okay. You get a reward after this. <laughs> thank you, teacher. I love rewards. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay. okay the next one. What the do you have? The next one. All right. We have this kids. What do you think this is? Can you say the name of this animal? Hmm. What do you Teacher. think? Okay, can I guess? Um, uh, because no it has horns yeah. and also a very cute tail, <laughs> maybe it's a cow? Yes, you are right. I'm awesome. Correct. Okay, Again. another no, reward, Teacher? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now let me ask you. Okay. All right. Yes, Teacher. What is the name of this animal? Um, can I make the sound first, teacher? Wow! <laughs> you are so advanced. Okay, <laughs> go okay. ahead. Okay, because I always hear my parents say, if it makes the sound quack, 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 it's a duck, teacher. You are right. Yay. Good job, okay. Jafika. Okay, this All is right. the third one. Okay. Okay, the fourth one. The fourth one. What is this? Okay, kids, try to guess. What is this animal? What sound does it make? Mm. Ah. Oh. <laughs> right, teacher, okay. something like that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 
I think um, perhaps teacher would like to share with us what okay. animal this is. This is called a goat. A goat. A goat. Okay. Say it. A goat. Kids. A goat. Okay. okay. What does a goat sound? A goat what sounds. What sounds that a goat make? Um, I know something. Maybe. Can I just try, teacher? Okay. Maybe. Uh. Uh. Uh, something like that. Are you sure? Oh, uh, I think not really moo because moo is a cow. Okay. Teacher, can you help me please? All right. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do the sound. The, okay. Goat. <laughs> Bear. Yeah. Oh, oh, you can say ba. Ba. Okay. Okay, okay right. teacher. Maybe the last one. Oh, the last one. Animal. Okay, thank you, Shafika. And All the last right. one, what do you call this? Mm, it has a lot of fur. Yes. Actually, that's actually uh, uh, fur, right, teacher? Yeah. It's called fur. I think it's it's a sheep, teacher. Yes. It is? You got it right. With the sound. I know, I know okay, the sound. Okay, now you make the sound. Bad. <laughs> it's bad. nearly the same with the goat. goat. It's okay. a bit very similar, yeah, teacher. All right. All right. Uh, so today, kids will be learning about farm animals. So be excited about this. Uh, stay tuned, okay? We'll be right back after this break on Did It TV KPM. Kids, you're watching DD TV KPM with me and teacher Rama today. And today we'll be learning about farm animals. Just now, I searched for the animals and I found a chicken. And also, after that, I found what is this, kids? What is this? Okay, this is a cow. All right. And then I found another animal which makes the sound quack, 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 which is this one a duck. And then the fourth animal is a goat, which makes the sound similar to a sheep, like bleh, bleh, but not so bad. That one is a sheep, which I found also. This is a sheep, kids, okay? So today we'll be learning about these animals and perhaps we'll be learning the words as well to pronounce them clearly. Right, Teacher Rama, can we continue with our lesson for farm animals today? Okay, since you have found all the animals that was mentioned in our song, okay, uh, Shafika, can yes, you teacher. please paste it on the whiteboard? I will, can. All right. Thank all you. Right, then. All right, I'll first paste the sheep. Okay, teacher. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. The next one. The next one. Okay. Um, oh, we we'll go one by one then. We can go one by uh, one. We can teacher. go one by one. Okay. All right. What is the name of the animal? Uh, this is a sheep, teacher. Okay. This mm -hmm. is a sheep. Very good. You got it right. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Now, okay. how does a sheep? Um. Uh huh. Can you tell me? All right, teacher. How to spell sheep? How to spell sheep? Okay. S H E E P. Yes, you're very is that good. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. All right. This okay. is the this is the spelling of sheep. Sheep. Okay. Um, it is S H E E P. Sheep. Sheep. Okay. Focus on the red color. Mm -hmm. Shh. Okay. All right. Now okay. let me paste it. All right, teacher. So the sound it makes, S H, is shh. Okay, next one. Okay, next teacher. You take the next one. Let's take the chicken. Uh, um, hand, uh, okay. Chicken. I'll paste it here. Easier for teacher. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, Shafika has pasted um, a chicken, chicken on the board. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's spell the word chicken. Do you know how to spell the word chicken? I can try, teacher. Okay. Okay. C H I C K E N. Chicken. 
Is, is it right? Ah, oh, I'm correct <laughs> again. Another Congratulations. reward. Congratulations. Ah, Thank you, the, teacher. The spelling is C-H-I-C-K-E-N. Chicken. And we are focusing on the red colour of sound. Mm -hmm. it's, it is Ch. C-H-C. Ch. Ch. Okay, the initial sound of chicken is Ch. Okay. Uh, Shafika, please yes. place it on the board. Okay, teacher. Ch. Okay, now I'll take the third one. Okay. All right. This is a. This is a goat, teacher. Yes, this yes. is a. This is a goat. Okay. We, uh, how do you spell goat? How do I spell goat? Uh. G O A T. Okay. Ah, you are teacher. right. Okay. okay right again. Right. Okay. Now. This is how you spell goat. This is how you spell goat. Okay. G O A T. But the sound of the first in the, the initial sound mm -hmm. of the word is G. 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 Okay? Now, let me paste it. Okay, teacher. Alright, since uh, kids out there, when you pronounce the word, make sure you see how teacher Rama pronounce it with her mouth, okay? Okay, now I'll this is a cow, teacher. Okay, this is a cow. Okay, a cow has four legs. Okay, everybody mm -hmm. knows. Yes. Okay, but how to spell a cow? You know mm -hmm. how to spell a cow? Can anybody help me to spell a cow? Kids, try to spell cow. Oh. Okay, Shafika, try. All right, thank okay. you, Kak Shafika. Okay, I will help kids out there. How to spell cow? C O W. Very good. Yes. The spelling is C O W. Mm -hmm. C O W. But how do you say the initial sound? How do you say the first sound of the word? Mm -hmm. C is. The sound is. K. 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 Okay, Kak Shafika, can you right. repeat the sound? Very good. So, teacher, even though it says there is a letter C, it's not always ch. No, ch is for C and H. H. Ch. Chicken. Ch. So, this is just a C, so it's k. Okay, do you know any other words that start from with C? That starts with C. Mm. I know mm, car? Yes, very yes. good. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you spell a car? How do I spell a car? Okay. C A R. Very good. Ka. Then, how do you say the initial sound of ka? Ka. 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 Is that correct? Ka. Ka. Oh, uh -huh. it's ka. Huh? Okay, it's ka. Ka. All right. Now, the, the last... cow, yeah, teacher? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The first sound the is the same. The first sound. Okay. All right. Ah, now, is the last animal that Kak Shafika has found. Okay? Yes. All right, this is a duck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Please, paste, paste it. it. Okay. okay. Do you... Do you know how to spell a duck? Uh, I know, teacher. Uh, you're very good. I will help kids out there, okay? D U C K. All right. Duck. duck. Okay? All right, duck. D U C K is mm -hmm. the spelling of the word okay. uh, duck. But the first letter, the first sound or the initial sound is D. 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 Right? Okay. All right, that's all for the. <clears throat> How? So, teacher, these are all farm animals, right, teacher? Yeah, they are all farm animals. How do we know the difference, maybe, to identify a farm animal? Are dogs and cats farm animals, teacher? No, they are not. They are dogs not. and cats are not... Dogs and cats are domestic animals. Domestic animals. They are domestic animals. We can keep them in our house. Okay. But all these animals, we keep them in... The farm. Okay. All right. Uh, now, teacher, um, before we move on to a storybook that we'll show in a minute, uh, I want to ask you, teacher, farm animals, are they dangerous? No. no farm animals not. are not dangerous. They okay. are tame animals that we have to take care, uh, take care of them, love them, mm -hmm. cuddle them, yes. carry them, and we... Oh, no, we cannot carry them. Sorry. They're too heavy, teacher. <laughs> yeah, they're too heavy. Right. Uh, okay. Okay. But be kind to them because they need our love. Our love. Okay? okay, kids. Now that we've learned how to pronounce the first word of each farm animals, let's take a look at this VT to read a storybook. 
I'm gonna tell a story about Bob George by Josepha. Bob George, George wanna sneeze. Bob George, George went meow. No, George said George mother cat go meow. Dogs go rough. Now, Buck George, Buck George, George went quack quack. No, George said George mother. Dogs go quack quack. Dogs. Go rough now, Buck George. George went oink. No, George said George mother. Pigs go oink. Dogs go rough now, Buck George. Now I am going to continue reading the story. George's mother took George to the vet. I'll soon get to the bottom of this, said the vet. Please bark, George. George went meow. The vet retreated deep down inside of George and pulled out a cat. Bark again, George. George went The vet reached deep, deep down inside of George and put out a duck. Bark again, George. George went quack. The vet reached deep, deep, deep down inside of George and put out a pig. Bark again, George. George went moo. The vet. Put on his longest latex glove. Then he reached deep, 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 deep down inside of George. Now I am going to continue reading the last part. Stay tuned, friends. Bulk again, George. George went moo. The vet put on his longest latex glove. Then he reached deep, 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 deep down inside of George, and pulled out a cow. Bulk again, George. George went off. George's mother was so thrilled that she kissed the vet. And the cat, and the duck, and the pig, and the cow. On the way home, she wanted to show George off to everyone on the street. So she said, "Bulk, George!" And George went, "Hello!" And that's the end of the story. Isn't it funny? Think. Isn't it funny? Thank you for listening, friends. Bye. Ah, oh, such adorable kids reading a storybook about George. Who, it seems that Teacher Rama couldn't bark, but when someone asked him to bark, he went meow, or he went quack, or he went. Moo! Even when he went to the vet, he still couldn't bark. And at the end, at the street, teacher, he even said hello. Ah, teacher, why is that? What happened to George? Okay, do you like the story, Kara? I Shafika? love it. It's right. very, very nice. Okay. Very, very cute. A I, cute story. I personally, I love the story. Okay. Okay. Now, before we proceed, can you? Tell me how many animals are there mentioned uh -huh. in the story? I think there are. First, I heard a duck, okay, and then a cow, and then a dog, and a cat, and also an oink. Oh no, <laughs> I didn't hear a dog. I heard uh. an oink. 
Uh. I think it's about five animals, teacher. Or uh. four. Oh. Four animals. Yeah, it's Sorry, only four, four animals. animals in the storybook. Which went into the? Which went into the tummy yeah. of George. Oh, yes. That you is got it right. right. Thank you, thank you. So okay. when the vet went deeper into his throat, they found the animals, teacher. One by? One by one. 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 How do the vet extract the animals from George's tummy? <gasps> oh, he How? went with his hand? Yes. So and then pull that one yes. by one. Okay. The animal one by one. Yeah. Uh huh. Deep, 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 deep. Depends on the size of the animals. Ah, okay. Okay, teacher. All right. All right. Now, the additional words that mm -hmm. we didn't mention here. Okay. Okay. What are the words? What are the animals? Um, uh, pig. Is okay, that right? yes, pig. Uh -huh. uh huh. And then we had also a horse teacher. Did mm. we have a horse, kids? Did we have a horse just now? Um. Uh, oh, no, teacher. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. I think we had a cat. A cat? Ah, yes. A cat teacher. All right. And then? Now, mm -hmm. cat, and, and dog are not, <coughs> cat and dogs are not um, farm, animals. farm animals. They okay. are domestic animals, like I tell you before. Okay. Okay. All right, pig. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have pig. Okay. Okay. How do you spell pig? Okay, teacher. Uh, P, I, G. Okay. Is that correct? Yes, you are right. Yay. Okay. P I G. But the first letter you must try saying the initial sound of mm -hmm. the first letter. Okay. <clears throat> what is the first sound of the in, the letter? Can I try? Yes. Okay, I think it sounds like this, teacher. B. B. Is that correct? Mm. Or B? It's P. P. It's P. P. Okay. For okay. the letter P, you sound it as P. Okay. okay. So these are all our initial sound. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> but I didn't finish with the story. Yes, you did. Okay. It. Let's hear the rest of the story. No. They oh, have finished telling the story. Now I'm asking you. Okay. Is it okay? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Teacher, okay. ask me. All right. <coughs> okay. Mm hmm. Um. Why? Mm hmm. George make the first sound different from what he thinks. Okay. Different from what the mother wants him to uh -huh. say. Why? I think it's because there was. An animal inside of him? Yes, okay. you're very clever. Thank you, Kak Shafika. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. the, the first cat, the first uh, animals that was taken out from George, um, <clears throat> from George mm -hmm. Tummy was mm -hmm. a cat. Was a cat. Okay. Then the next one mm -hmm. um, is a was, was a moo teacher. Yes. Ah. It's a, no, no, it's not a moo. It's not a moo. It's not a moo. The second one is okay. the <clears throat> the cat. Was it an oink, teacher? Yes. Oh, just now we learned, kids. P I G pig, okay. which makes a sound oink. Okay. So that was the sound George was making. Yeah. What was the last animal? The biggest animal was taken oh. out from George. Goodness. <laughs> okay, I think it was a cow, teacher. You are right. Mm. Okay, very good, Kak Shafika, for right. the <clears throat> for the yes. answer. Okay, yeah. teacher. Okay, right. now. Since we have finished, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, Since we can have finished you say part. out one by one? Yes, let's... say the name of the animals mm -hmm. and then the initial sound of the words. Yes, yeah, sure, teacher. Okay. But kids, I know you would like to hear me say the sounds from these animals. But first, let's take a short break. Go get your drinks and food, and we'll be right back on Did It TV KVM.
Welcome back kids to on Didi TV KPM and today you'll be learning about farm animals and just now we talked about the examples of farm animals such as the chicken, the sheep, goat, cow and many many others and right now we'll be learning more about farm animals with teacher Rahma still in the studio. Okay teacher, okay. what are we going to do today? Okay. Um Shafika? Yes. Let we stop just now. Mm -hmm. I would like to um, repeat back repeat this, back this ah. and repeat this. Okay. And please um, say the word, say uh -huh. the name of the animals, okay. and say the initial sound of the animals. Okay, kids, for you out there, please join me to say the sound anim the sound of the animals, the name of the animals, and also the sound of the first letter. Okay, kids, let's go. The first one is a sheep. So the sound S H is sh. Yes. Sh, like you're whispering. Sh. Ah, okay. Sh. Sh. Okay. And then the next one is goat. All right, teacher. Goat is spelled with a G, and G is g. G. Is that correct, teacher? Rahma? Yes, you're g. right. Okay. Hmm. And the next one, teacher, up here is a chicken, and then chicken is spelled with a C and H. H as the first two letters. So how do you say it, kids? Ch, ch, ch. Yes. Ah, yes, there you go. Ch. Ch. Okay, ah, good, ch. very good. Okay, the next one is a cow. Uh, begins with the letter C, so you say it as teacher? Oh, K, K. Uh, ah, there you go, say it as K. Okay, and the last awesome. one is a quack, quack. What is it, kids? A duck. All right, and it starts with the letter D, and you say it as D. D. Yeah, D. D. Ah. It's D. Okay, it's very D. good, um, Kak Shafika. Thank you, teacher. All right, now we will okay. move to the next um, activity. Okay. Okay, what do you think we're going to learn? <gasps> okay, on this table here, teacher, I see eggs, I see uh, shapes, and also I see Hmm, cotton buds. Okay, maybe right. we're going to learn about more about one animal. Is okay, it true, teacher? Okay, yeah, you are right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so after this, you're going to learn about mm -hmm. life cycle of a chicken. Oh, okay, chicken. Okay, we are going to learn life cycle of a chicken. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, can you play this instrument? Oh, yes. We're sure, going teacher. To, we're going to sing okay um, a song a song all right <laughs> about chicken about the life cycle the life cycle uh, okay, but teacher. you must remember mm -hmm. because i'm going to ask you after this okay what you have heard mm -hmm. and you have to find the pictures okay, okay. i will do that right. when we're singing yeah teacher yeah okay i will do you that you just remember i will okay okay all right all right <laughs> thank I'll you this instrument. Okay. okay you just Okay, okay. Do you know the 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 melody? Yes. Okay. That's the that's the melody. All right. Okay. Now let's start. One, two, a three. The chicken lays an egg in her nest. The chicken lays an egg in her nest. The chicken lays an egg, the chicken lays an egg, the chicken lays an egg in her nest. Okay, very okay. good. Okay, all right. The chicken sits on the egg, keeps it warm. The chicken keep. oh no, the chicken sits on the egg, keeps it warm. The chicken sits on an egg, the chicken sits on the egg, the chicken sits on the egg, the chicken sits on the egg. The chicken sits on the egg. The chicken keeps it warm. Okay, next, okay, what will next. happen? All right, after sitting on the egg. Ah, you, you don't know? I'm okay. not sure, teacher. All right, let me sing again. Okay. I will continue. All right, continue, okay. teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, eh? Uh huh. Where is it? Oh. Can you find? I can you find the first two? Yes, I think I can. All right. Okay, first of all, mm -hmm. it was about. The chicken. Ah, ah the chicken. teacher. Am I correct? Yes, you're right. Okay. So we have first the chicken from mm -hmm. the song. So that means we can uh, paste it here, teacher. Is okay. that okay? Okay. Uh huh. Can, that, I think I'll take this off um, first. 
Okay. Okay, I'll help And then you. afterwards, teacher, uh, it lays an egg. Was that correct? The teacher lays an egg. Oh, the the teacher. chicken. Oh my goodness, sorry, teacher. The I mean, the teacher, teacher lays, lays the egg. Eggs. Yes. Okay, very okay. funny. <laughs> sorry, teacher. No, it's okay. Okay, let's no put problem. this up here. The chicken okay. lays an egg. Mm. All right, teacher, are we going to sing more? Yes. Okay. You'll continue. You continue With shaking, my instrument. I'll continue singing. Okay, teacher. The, One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> the egg in the nest go crack. <gasps> the egg in the nest go crack. The egg in the nest, the egg in the nest. The egg in the nest go crack. Mm -hmm. Okay, which one? Okay, the egg in the nest go crack. Ta-da! Is this correct? Yes. Yes. <gasps> Yay! And then we put it here. Chicken okay. life cycle. Okay. The crack <clears throat> is the hatchling. Did you? Yeah, yes. Okay. Okay, now we will continue. Let's continue, teacher. Okay. All right. Um, the chick in the, the egg step. comes out. Uh -huh. The chick in the egg comes out. This uh -huh. one. Okay. The chick in the egg. The chick out. in the egg. Mm -hmm. The chick in the egg come out. Okay, there you go. We found the chick already here. And this is almost complete, teacher. Okay. okay. Never mind. We'll see whether it's right or wrong. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, right, teacher. What's yeah. next? Huh? We have one more teacher actually. Oh, this one. Okay, I think we missed I'll this see one. where the mm -hmm. stick there. Okay. The chick becomes a rooster or a hen. <gasps> oh. The chick becomes a rooster or a hen. Mm -hmm. The chick become a rooster. The chick become a hen. The chick become a rooster or a hen. Which one? Okay. It okay. becomes a rooster or a hen. Okay. All right, teacher. So this cycle is complete. That this means it becomes a bigger form. Mother hen. Mother hen. Uh, okay. And the the other one, mm -hmm. if the rooster. The rooster. Where the, is this the rooster? is the mother hen. This is the mother hen. The rooster is the father hen. The rooster is the father hen. Okay, kids. All that's right. all. Thank you. Teacher, okay. can you talk a bit about the cycle? Uh, which one is the first cycle? Ah, okay. Ah. So that means, kids, we can see uh, here, it starts with the chicken and then the eggs, the embryo, the hatchling and also the yes, chick. Yes, very good. And then it will okay. grow into an adult chicken. Okay, okay. you're good. Okay. Now, I would like for you mm -hmm, yes. to paste this. Okay. Paste where is the life cycle? Life cycle. Mm. Okay, teacher. Sentences. Mm -hmm. Teacher, can I ask one question? Mm -hmm. uh, since we learn about the cycle, mm -hmm. what is the lifespan of a chicken? Okay, the lifespan of a chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or maybe at what age does a chicken usually lay eggs? 18 months. 18 months. Yes, oh, 18 okay, okay. Months. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. teacher, let's paste that one. Okay, now uh -huh. you have to choose mm -hmm. which one mm -hmm. is suitable okay. for the picture. All right. According to the. Okay, so the According first one, to the. The words, the sentence here. Yeah, the sentences. Right now okay. I have it says, hand lays egg. Okay. Right, teacher. All right, mm -hmm. now. Try where to paste it. Okay, I think this is the first part, teacher. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Very good. So I'll paste it here, teacher. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The next one. Next one. Anything? I can choose any one, right? Um. Yes. Okay. Uh, I you think... must get it correct. Oh, I have if to not, make it. You cannot okay. get your reward. Okay, I want my reward. Okay. After. Okay, just now with the song, Teacher Rama said the hen lays on, sits on the egg to make it warm, Teacher. For how many days? For 21 days. Yes, very good. Okay, so we put it here to show that... Okay, mother huh? hen will sit, sit on, on the, the eggs egg. in mm -hmm. the nest to keep them warm for 21 days. We call this process a roost, roosting. Roosting. Okay, okay Teacher, next we have... Uh-huh. Okay. 
after 21 days because yes. here is mentioning 21 days mm -hmm. so after 21 days the cheeks will pack their way out can yeah. i put it here okay i think it's mm -hmm. like this actually huh, uh, teacher okay, okay. you're mm -hmm. right all right very good okay okay next, next one when it comes out of the egg it is wet and later it is all fluffy and pretty. Is that correct, teacher? Yes. Okay. You can put it here. I'll put it here. Okay, we move the mother hand. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, teacher. And mm -hmm. last one. The new chick is either a hen or a rooster. Yes. All right. Okay, we'll just put it here, mm -hmm. teacher. Okay. Okay. All right. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Do you understand the whole cycle of a chicken? I understand now, teacher. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. This is the life cycle of a chicken. Okay. All right, teacher. So what are we going to do next? Okay. Mm -hmm. Since um, we have finished yes. with this, mm -hmm. we are going to... Uh, I will tell uh, more about this. Okay, okay? teacher. Mm -mm. Okay, first mother hen will lay some eggs in the nest. Okay. She will keep the eggs mm -hmm. very warm. To keep it warm, mm -hmm. she won't let anybody touch the eggs. Okay. okay. Next, she will sit on the eggs for 21 days. Mm -hmm. okay. After 21 days, but before the before the 21 days is over, you do not go and disturb. You cannot touch. Mm -hmm. You cannot disturb the eggs. Because this will make, make the mother hen angry. angry. Yes. She will be angry. Okay. Sure. She will. She wants to protect her mm -hmm. eggs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, an embryo has formed in the egg. Okay. When she has sit on the egg for twenty one days, the embryo has formed in the egg. Mm -hmm. Towards the end of the roosting, okay. roosting is the uh, is the period where mother hen sits. You know, okay. sits there, and then she will go out to get her food, come back, sits again on the eggs mm -hmm. for 21 days. Okay. A chick will peck. Peck. Ah. A chick will peck and the ah. eggshell, sorry, the chick will peck from the eggshell mm -hmm. and come out. Okay. okay. She just got released from the egg and what she will do, what will she do? What do you think she will do? She will go chop 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 chop. Is that correct? <laughs> or oh, and then Before, push out. The, yeah. The shell. She will she will just yawn, yawn. and stretch herself. Okay. Or himself, okay? All and right. the new chick is either a rooster mm -hmm. or a Hmm. Okay, teacher. Teacher, I heard someone tell us just now we hmm. were gonna sing a song, teacher. Or we're gonna do an activity that involves a chicken song. Is that correct? Okay. There is no singing, only oh. um, dancing. Okay. okay. Yes, you're right. So we are going to do some craft on the table as well at the same time, oh. yeah, teacher? Mm, okay. okay, let's start. All right. Mm -hmm. um, where All right, is our teacher. things? Okay, today okay. We, are, we are going to make a craft Okay. Uh, about a shape. A craft. Shape. Huh? Uh -huh. mm. okay. okay. Can you see crafts mm -hmm. around the... Our In place? front of the table, teachers. Yeah. Yes, they're okay. animals. Okay, they are animals. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are a lot of animals. Mm -hmm. Okay, what uh, what kind of craft have you been made before? I always make uh, origami using oh. papers. Yes. But never an animal before. Okay. Maybe teacher, you can teach me. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, let's start with. Uh huh. Some of the things okay. that we are going to use you, today. Uh -huh. Do you use like online shopping? I do, teacher. Okay. Very much. I'm sure you are so familiar with this. What do you call this? This one is a bubble wrap. Thank is that correct? you. Uh -huh. That is the correct answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why bubble wrap? Why did I use bubble wrap? Why, teacher? Why? Please tell us. Tell me, tell me please. Please, teacher. Okay. We mm -hmm. use bubble wrap. This is a kind of um, activity for soft motor skills. Okay. okay, so when you use this, uh, children like to play. Even I know you also like to play. Mm -hmm. Even people around us, they love to play this. Yes. Okay, but this is one kind of activity that will help their fine motor skill. Mm -hmm. okay? okay, all right, now let's start. All right. Okay, first, 
Hey, mine. Don't worry. Okay. I prepared some uh, bubble wrap. Oh, um, already cut template. in a flower yes, picture. Yes. Ah. Okay. okay. So now, mm -hmm. uh, you just paste paste this bubble wrap. Mm -hmm. Paste the bubble wrap. Paste the bubble on wrap the, on, on the, the sheet. Okay. Okay. Let's do it together. Okay. Let's do it, teacher. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. No, 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 right. faster. Faster, teacher. Faster, faster, faster. Yes. You go, then you go. Okay. Okay. All right, you first and then, and then me. And then where is mine? Oh, it's here. Okay, this mm -hmm. is cotton wool. Okay, okay, teacher. You just put the cotton... Hey, no, no, uh -huh. before that. Look. You paste the bubble wrap first, teacher. Okay, <gasps> so we have the bubble wrap and then we paste it ah, on we the... We paste it on... The drawing of the sheep. The template. Okay, teacher. Okay. All right. Okay. Then, if you want to cut, you can cut it now. If you don't want to cut, you can wait later. Okay, I think I'm going to wait, teacher. Okay. Because I cannot wait to put on the cotton uh, butt on the sheep. Okay. Because I love the fur. All so right. soft. Okay. Yeah, you're All right, right, teacher. Okay, now your turn. Okay. Oh, you don't want to put it to... I think you, you have cover. to put it... Oh, to cover right. Off. Okay, okay cover you can use this. I can overlap, teacher. Mm, no problem. Like okay, mm. so but I put, put the gum. gum. Okay. okay, now. All right. After you have put the... Okay, once again. Okay. Gum, glue, anyone, any, anything. So, kids, we, can... we are using uh, glue today for this activity, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, okay, teacher. Okay, then start paste the... The cotton. Yes, go cotton fast, 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 Okay. Go, 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 okay, go. Okay, so I'll put I want to see. Glue Who finish first? You or on me? Top. Teacher, I'm I very slow at doing this activity. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay. Actually, I will wait for you. It's okay. Okay. Okay, sorry. I'll right, take now. some cotton buds here. Mm -hmm. And then just paste it here. Alright. So as okay, I'm... Okay, kids, mm -hmm. at home, you can use cotton, um, cotton ball, uh -huh. or just a fine cotton, uh -huh. or the, which is the longer in size. Okay. You can just pull, pull, pull okay. and paste it. Oh, I need to pull, teacher. You need to pull? I've done it wrong. <laughs> it's okay, no problem. So just pull it first like this you and can. then just paste it. Mm. So otherwise it won't be so big. Yeah. All right, teacher. All right. I'm loving this activity. It's very fun, kids. I okay. hope you all are doing this together. As we are doing this, let's first take a short break and then when we return, we'll continue doing our Animal, okay? See you right back on Diddy TV KPM. And you're still tuned in to Didi TV KPM. Today we're learning about farm animals, and with Teacher Rama here, and we learned how to uh, the cycle process of a chicken, and also just before the break, just now we learned how to make a what is this, uh, kids? A sheep. Okay, teacher. Yes. Right. It's, it's, it is called a bubble wrap sheep craft. Bubble wrap sheep. Craft. 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 The reason why it's bubble wrap, teacher, because it has a layer of bubble wrap and also cotton balls in front of it. Okay, mm -hmm. like I said before, mm -hmm. bubble wrap is good because it helps the uh, fine motor scale or the soft motor scale of our kids. Mm -hmm. Okay, You cannot force them to ride to do other motor cross hill if they are not ready with their soft motor scale. So this will, will help them in writing neatly, writing nicely, mm -hmm. okay? All right. All right. One more thing okay. about this craft is when they have finished, they will just press. Oh, can you hear the sound? Uh-huh. Ah, that, that, is, that is the best part of this craft. Oh, you can play with it. It's very I, fun, teacher. Yes, also, all right. Because it's soft, so I like to press it even more. Oh, 
Right, you too? You? Yes. <laughs> and kids, also, when you do a sheep, how many legs does it have? Yeah. Ah, how many make sure it's four, count. okay, kids? One. This is teachers. Yes, ah. that's teachers. And mine is in uh, with a red stick with four legs, okay, kids? All right, All teacher. Right. Okay. okay. All right, we have uh -huh. finished with this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. Okay. Oh, teacher, I see something there. It's also a sheep. All right. Is it a okay. different way of besides making Besides doing this, mm -hmm. besides you come up with this template, the template of this sheep, okay. um, a big sheep, you can also use um, roll, um, tissue, tissue roll. roll. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, unused tissue roll mm -hmm. to make this craft. Okay? Right. You can use this. Um, but you use the same materials, okay. the glue, the cotton okay. and the templates. Ah, okay? teacher. Mm -hmm. All right. From what I see, it's a very slim uh, sheep, and this one <laughs> is perhaps a more happier sheep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, teacher. Um. So, what have, what have we learned today for kids at home? What have we learned today? Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you think we have learned today? Mm, From the I beginning. Think, yes, at the beginning, I think we learned a lot, right, kids? We learned about how to name the farm animals. Yes. Right, teacher? You recognize the farm animals? And now I do. I know that dogs and cats are not farm animals. They're domestic animals. Yes. Uh, and then what else, teacher? Okay, then we mm -hmm. learn about the initials, found, uh, sounding the initial sounds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, after sounding the initial sounds, we uh, we heard story a story about George. George, Bar right. the, the title of the story is Bob George. Okay? Bob George. And the um, readers uh, of the story mm -hmm. was uh, three preschoolers mm -hmm. from my own school. Okay. And next, what do we learn? Ah, okay, teacher. As we can see from this board, we learned about the chicken life cycle. Okay. Right. And then we learned what happens in every step. Here, okay, teacher. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. you're right. Okay. Okay, so how many cycle, how, sorry, how many steps are there in one cycle? Okay, I think there are about five steps. Yes, you're right. Ah. You're right, Shafika. Thank okay. you. You're so awesome. Thank you, teacher. Do I get my reward now? Uh, or maybe later after this? No, not before. No, I'll give you now. Oh, you give okay, me now. But finish our work first. Let's finish our work first. Kids, <laughs> okay. remember to finish your work first, all right? Okay. Okay, the last part is okay. our craft. Our craft. Okay, the craft that we have um, created using mm -hmm. um, unused materials or um, uh, recycled materials. Okay? Uh -huh. They are templates of um, the sheep. Mm -hmm. um, bubble wrap. A bubble wrap, mm -hmm. cotton, cotton ball, um, and okay. also this one is uh, the stick holder. Okay. okay, but you must remember you have to use your scissors also. Mm -hmm. But make sure the scissors is um, not so sharp. Okay. Okay, because it might you might have a yes. cut. Okay, okay, kids, be very careful when you use a scissors because make sure your parents are around when you are doing cutting. Okay, kids? All right, teacher. Now we've reached the end of the show. All right, teacher, Rama, thank you so much for being with us today. We learned a lot about farm animals, right? Bye. Assalamualaikum.